Welcome back to Tammy Talks About. So today I thought we would talk about the possibility that Elon Musk has been a victim of DV at the hands of AH. Uh, the reason that I decided to talk about this today, as you all know, last week we saw the new subpoenas that Johnny Depp's team has sent to Elon Musk, the ACLU, and many others. And what I found interesting about Elon's um, subpoena, sorry, <laughs> is that they're very specific and they're asking for a lot more than what has been admitted to in public as far as Elon and AH's relationship because officially they did not begin seeing each other until after Johnny and AH divorced in 2016. Now as far as Evidence, we know that as early as May of 2016, before Johnny and Amber had divorced, she was texting him, and in one of those texts, he does say something to the effect of, well, the radio silence really hurt. I really like you. And that, that leads us to conclude that their relationship had definitely been going on much longer than that. And then there's also the testimony that as early as a month after Johnny and AH were married, that Elon was showing up late at night at the Eastern Columbia and um, was it long after that that he they were asked to make a key fob for him so that he could get into the building and leave without having to call security to help out. So, you know, it, it more than likely their relationship started a lot sooner. We'll talk about that a little bit as we go through this. Um, but, you know, the thing is, is that if you've watched my other videos, you know that she definitely displays the behaviors of a narcissistic personality. And in those behaviors, she, she displays the violent behaviors of a narcissistic personality. So, you know, there's that. And then there's also, she was arrested for DV against her former partner, Tasia Van Rees. There's all the evidence that she definitely committed DV against Johnny Depp. And... It just goes to reason that more than likely she has shown her violent side to Muskie and his face. Actually, if you looked at the thumbnail, that is a picture of the two of them together. And um, he does look kind of worse for wear in that picture. And so it got me thinking, let's talk about this a little bit. What do you think? Do you think that she definitely abused him? Do you think it's a possibility? Do you think that, no, that she was careful not to commit these acts against him because she knows what kind of money he has? Let's talk about it. You know, the thing is, is, like I said, officially, they didn't begin seeing each other until after the divorce in 2016. But they met in 2013. Um, AH was filming Machete, Machete Kills, and it sounded awful. And Elon had a cameo in it. And from both of their accounts, he had requested through an email to the director to be introduced. Now he says he would. He found her interesting and attractive, and blah 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 blah. And you know the the story spun in the media is that you know he went after her. He was smitten with her. He saw her and found her, all these things, and went after her. And while I imagine Elon does believe that is exactly how things happened, I've known too many women like her. And considering that she stated many many times in her career, especially early on, that her goal was to find the richest man in Hollywood. Well, you found the richest man in the world. Do you really want us to believe that you didn't go out of your way to make sure that he noticed you? I mean, this is a woman who is an expert at garnering the attention she wants. I truly believe with all my heart that she went out of her way while on that set of Machete Kills to make sure that Elon Musk noticed her and liked what he saw. And see, here's the thing. She was with Johnny at this point and had been for quite some time. So she already had him hooked. But as we discussed in one of my other videos, narcissists tend to always be looking for something bigger and better. Well, Johnny was as big as you could get 
and in my eyes better than anyone else, but he was as big as you could get in Hollywood and, and in the world really as far as beloved, recognized, and had plenty of money. But then here's Elon Musk. Now he is the biggest fish of them all. He's the richest man in the world. And even in 2013, I think he was pretty close to being the richest man in the world. And so that was her something bigger and better. She had Johnny hooked already. So she hooked Elon in slowly and had him for once she finished with Johnny, she could move on to him. She'd take Johnny's money and she'd move on to Elon. And, you know, the thing is, is that they're split up at this time, but they get together, split up, get together, split up. Elon's not learned his lesson yet, or there's something more to the story, but she's not done with him, or at least she's trying not to be done with him. I don't think she's gotten nearly everything out of him that she wants. I mean, there is the embryos. You know, we really don't know what happened to them. Um, that might be why he is still, he's still helping her. I mean, the speculation is, and I believe Johnny's team has found and are going to be getting that proof in these subpoenas, that, jo that Elon is the one that's been backing her all along financially and who has made those anonymous donations on her behalf and who hooked her up with the ACLU and who helped her with her op-ed. You know, there's a reason Elon's doing all this. And while it may be as simple as that, he hasn't realized yet what she is. We're talking about a man who is trying to bring AI intelligence to the world to use for people who are paralyzed. I mean, this... This is an intelligent man. Don't don't be fooled. So the fact that he has not yet said, okay, wait a minute. This woman is not good for my reputation. She's not good for me in the public eye. And more than likely, she has committed DV against him. So this woman has done this to me. Why has he not done anything about it? Why has he not got rid of her? You know... And the thing is, is that I think she possibly has a few things on him that she's holding over him. I think there is the embryos. I think there is that there's still the infatuation. There's something more. There's testimony in the UK trial from the concierge that one time while Johnny was away, he was out of the country. Elon had been there the night before, and it's the one and only time they ever seen A.H. with any injuries. She had a red mark under her eye, and she had the fingerprint bruises around her neck. Could it be that Elon has been just as violent, as we say, to A.H. as she has to him, Johnny, and other partners? Could it be that she has threatened him with, if you don't do this for me, the world will see that you've actually done to me what I've claimed Johnny's done to me, and look what I've done to him. I find it very interesting, and I think it's very plausible. There is every possibility that the two of them are very much just as guilty as the other for committing DV on one another. And then there's also the possibilities of some, shall we say, kinky uh, sexual likes. I mean, there is the accusation of the three-way with Cara Del Devonine, Cara Delvine, I don't know how you say her name. And then there's, well, you know, that was one of the speculations I made in one of my other videos, that her and James Franco and Muskie might have done something. I just know that with this woman and any man that gets entangled with her, it becomes a mess. And it would seem to me that someone as intelligent as Muskie would find a way to get out of this, but there's some reason he hasn't. And I don't think it's just love. I think there's more to it. So what do you think? Why do you think he's still backing her up? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Share this video. Help me grow this community. And I just thank you for always, as always, for tuning in. And as always, till next time, be blessed.